Hello. I am Dr. Mia Cardona from the Veterinary Channel. This presentation aims to familiarize the veterinary student with some basic concepts about performing a mastectomy on a pet rat. As a veterinary student, it is essential to review the concepts of anatomy before performing surgery on a rat. This is because the anatomy of a rat can be quite different from that of other animals, and you need to be familiar with the rat's anatomy to perform surgery safely and effectively. Several resources are available to help you learn about rat anatomy, including books, websites, and videos. You can also talk to your professor or another veterinary student familiar with rat anatomy. Reviewing the concepts of rat anatomy before surgery will help you perform the procedure safely and ensure that the rat recovers quickly and successfully. Pet rat had a large tumor as big as a ping pong ball. The owner wanted a mastectomy. Mastectomy is the surgical removal of the breast. Will this rat survive the anesthetic and surgery? Mastectomy, the vet must know the location and size of the caudal superficial epigastric vessels. It comes out from the external inguinal ring to supply nutrients to the caudal breast. If the vet is unfamiliar with the anatomy and cuts the caudal superficial epigastric vessel, it will lead to excessive bleeding. Excessive bleeding might lead to hematoma, which is the accumulation of blood in the wound, seroma, the accumulation of clear fluid, and even death. This is the illustration of the mastectomy procedure. The vet makes an incision around the gland, creating an elliptical flap. Gland dissection is performed. The forceps pull up the flap. Sliding scissors is used to separate the tumour from the abdominal muscle. It does a double ligation of the caudal superficial epigastric vessels. Then stitches the skin. Ligation of the caudal superficial epigastric vessels will be shown. The major vessel supplying this tumour, caudal superficial epigastric blood vessels, needs to be ligated. Okay, let this clamp and ligate and stitch up the skin, that's it. The size of the caudal superficial epigastric vessel is very small in the rat and can be easily missed, whereas in the dog it will be much bigger. That's good. What's the percentage? Flow rate low. Claim, yeah, claim. Big breast tumor. PDS is better, right? The major vessel supplying this tumor, yeah. caudal superficial epigastric blood vessels, needs to be ligated. Yeah. How long already? Percentage. Gas isoflurane. Low. Out. Any pre med? Yeah. Uh, do it too. Mm. Okay, let this clamp and leg it and stitch up the skin. That's it. A vet who knows the veterinary anatomy well will be able to prevent post operation complications such as bleeding, nerve damage, and infection. For the rat mastectomy case, six days after the surgery, the rat had seroma. It bit the wound leading to stitch breakdown. The vet advised the client to replace with a bigger, squarish plaster and advised healing by granulation instead of re-stitching.